So the way you do the tempo RDL, um, what the tempo means is that's the cadence at which you're moving to execute this movement. So as I was doing this, you could see I was going down for four seconds. I'm holding for two seconds at the bottom and then I'm coming up fast. So that's what the tempo part means. RDL is Romanian deadlift. That's exercise we use to strengthen the backside of our body, um, including our hamstrings, our glutes, and our erector spinae in our spine. So the way that you're gonna do this movement, you want your feet to be about shoulder width apart, um, can be a little bit narrower or a little bit wider based off preference, but you want them you know, roughly in that distance. You're gonna slightly bend your knees and then that's it, because this movement is going to be coming from our hip. So the cue I want you to think of when you're executing this is to push your hips back as if you're closing a car door if you were holding some groceries in your hands, right? So I'm going to push my hips back, and that's going to help me get into this lower, called hinged, um, position, okay? Uh, some common mistakes I see people do whenever they're doing an RDL is... Number one, they tend to either do this uh, where they really bend from their knees. So instead of pushing their hips back to lower down, instead they just basically squat. And squatting is a completely different exercise because that's not really targeting the backside of our body as much as a hinge would do. So that's mistake number one, uh, bending your knees too much. Mistake number two that I see is not pushing your hips back at all. So what they'll do is they'll, um, instead of pushing those hips back, they're gonna just bend through their spine. And that's more spinal flexion as opposed to hip flexion, where we can then get a powerful extension that strengthens the backside of our body. So mistake number two is bending too much through the spine as opposed to pushing the hips back. And then mistake number three that I see is rounding of the spine as they do this. So it's kind of related to number two, but you'll notice as I'm pushing my hips back, I'm maintaining this arch in my lower back, in part because you know I'm, I'm kind of keeping my chest up, um, my eyes are looking down, but a little bit straight ahead. That allows me to maintain this curve in my lower spine. Um, but what I'll see sometimes is as people push their hips back, they end up rounding through their uh, back. That puts a lot of pressure on the lower back. So by maintaining that arch, we're gonna uh, protect our spine a lot better to help us come up. Okay, so. As you're doing that RDL, remember to push your hips back as if you're closing a car door. Make sure you squeeze your glutes to return yourself to the top position. So when you're in that bottom, squeeze those glutes to help you return up forcefully. And make sure you're not bending too much through the knees so it's not a squat. Make sure you're actually pushing those hips back and make sure you maintain that curve in your lower spine.